Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, this intro is going to repeat on every one of these videos so everyone knows what's going on. Let's uh, keep it short and sweet. First off, this is Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio. I'm Dodge and what we're going to be doing in this video is taking six of something, painting it in a variable set of colours so you can flick through the paint palette set and pick out colours you want for your army for certain things without having to watch a million tutorials. Um, it's just a uh, painting guide for all sorts of things. In a minute, what's going to come up is a uh, six images with timestamps, so you can find the one you're looking for in the video to make things easier. So without any further mucking about, let's crack on. So here we go guys, Orc Skin Tones Basic 1, and in this video we're only going to be using Games Workshop paints. Now the uh, thumbnails here don't really do the colour schemes justice, um, I'm going to edit and change this style of video as it progresses so uh, they're much better and easier to follow. Um, you can watch the whole thing or you can skip to where you want. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of our videos, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the end. Okay, so this is the basic. Basic green is what we've called this one. It's a simple one. We've started with a Vallejo Black Primer. We're going to use War Boss Green Watered Down. And give it two or three thin coats, as Duncan would always say. Um, that's just to get a nice base there. And to be fair, I could have done these with the airbrush, but uh, we know a lot of you guys like to see the brush work itself. Then uh, it's a real sloppy quick job, uh, and that's um, Drushi Violet by Games Workshop. Uh, the reason this one's just not as good as the other ones is because um, I was rushing through it, didn't quite know what I was going to do. Uh, should have really watered that Drushi Violet down, so I'd recommend using some medium or some water to wash that down. But if you've got about 100 boys to slog through, it might just be easier to do it this way. See if you could paint jobs for all your characters. Then we're just going to go back to War Boss Green and we're going to bring all that paint from the shadowed areas up to the top and that's where the pigment's going to stay. I am using a wet palette for this, surprisingly. Um, and I'm getting quite quick at just glazing and blending with that wet palette, which kind of helped with these videos a bit. I mean, I'm a huge orc player, I love playing orcs, um, none of my army's painted, but um, hopefully if I can get this brush technique down fast enough, uh, I can get through a lot of them. Although my orcs aren't even going to be green, so this video then is a bit redundant for me. And then we're going to use Biotan Green, watered down, and what that's going to do, because of the uh, mess we made with the quick Drushi Violet, is uh, neaten that up and blend those two colours together, the greens and the purples, so it mainly only shows up in the recesses. It's a quick, easy technique if you've got, like I said, if you've got a hundred boys to slog through, just slapping a wash on all of them. Once you've got some green skin on them, just start picking out the rest of it. Then we're going to mix War Boss Green 50-50 with Nurgling Green in the wet palette, and just start glazing the tops of those muscles again. Don't forget to uh, do the knuckles and stuff like that, guys, it's easy to miss, because uh, these muscles are really well pronounced. So uh, you'll focus on them. I missed the knuckles on a couple of them, at least the lower knuckles. But uh, end of the day, this video is all about just uh, what results we can get with what colours. So you guys can find whatever colour it is you're looking for. And you can see all those brush strokes from wherever the shadow would be to the highlighted area. And because the paint is so wet from the palette that um, the pigment's just going to stay there. And that's basically it for this one, guys. Oh no, we're going to add another barrel tan watered down wash over the top of that just to finish off any of the um, patchy glazing that was done. And um, as you can see, once all those washers are on, quick, easy, basic, you can slog through a lot of guys doing this one. And that's number one out of the way, guys. That's um, number one, basic green. So this is number two, earthy green, which is um, one of my favourites, to be honest. We're going to start with Castellian green and uh, water down again using two coats because there's quite there's quite a lot of uh, detail in these sculpts um, the muscle sculpts are really good the definition on the knuckles and the hands is really good if you've got a bunch of orc arms sitting around it's a good thing to practice just painting them to pick up your skills and uh, get a bit better at painting and especially for glazing now we're going to go to death world forest and what you'll notice in this paint scheme is um it's basically the Nurgle colours for uh, Nurgle armies, but it works really well on Orc Flesh if you want an earthy colour. So Death World Forest, and that's really watered down. Um, just starting halfway of those muscles and then 
pull in the uh, pigment the way I want it to go. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot in this video, but each of these sections is like a separate little video, so I guess I have to. Now we're going to go to Death Guard Green and do a, uh, another highlight there. Just on the more pronounced bits now, the shoulders, knuckles, and those the forearm that sticks out. It's really watered down paint, just a couple of coats. Um, my lamp for my uh, desk is actually hot enough now for me to just hold that under there and it'll start drying as I'm working, so I'm going to start using that as part of my technique. So I can go back and forth a lot quicker. Now we're going to mix a Ethonian camo shade 50-50 with water. And as you can see the brush strokes there, mainly going down. And if, um, just don't let it pull on anything you've done really. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, this is just a wash, the footage is a bit long. But I want to make sure it gets in all those recesses and that's going to emphasize all the highlights you've just done. And then when you're done with that, we're going to go back to the previous color, which is Death Guard Green and start re-highlighting smaller sections of the muscle texture and that is basically it for that one guys these are like these videos are very quick very easy to follow that's why they're in little sections um, in the future I'll probably um, show the result more on camera once it's fully dried or I might show them at the end I've got time to do that so might be worth skipping to the end to see all the results when they're all dry now for something completely different we're doing Oryx or Orokai from Warhammer, not Warhammer, from Lord of the Rings because a uh, lot Games Workshop has a Lord of the Rings merchandise so why not do something a bit different. Again black primer, we're going to start with a Rhinox hide this time. Never tried painting this sort of colour scheme before and uh, found it quite fun and interesting to just do orc arms in a different texture and a different scheme. So then all we're doing is mixing Tusker fur about 30% into 70% Rhinox hide. This is going to give us a, um, a reddish brownish hue which is uh, going to be used to highlight all the muscle textures. As you can see that's really watered down so uh, I've sped up the video. Um, but when we get onto the next section for this you'll see what it looks like once it's dried. Now we're just going to use Tusker fur on its own uh, to go to the hot spots on the muscles and um, forearm and the knuckles again. Don't forget to do your knuckles and your hand, the bones in the hand really make the uh, muscle texture look like it's um, gripping onto something. And we're just going to pull that from the recesses to the top areas. Again it's really really watered down so it's going to take a bunch of layers but you'll thank yourself for it once it's done. And now you can start to see we're getting this brownish reddish sort of tone to the skin. Now we're going to add a tusk of fur with a little bit of Rakar flesh just to uh, bring that up because you don't want to add a white in because it's going to go too pink. We want a muted colour so it looks like the light's hitting a dark brownish flesh. Again, really watered down paint and we're just bringing that to the um, hot spots on the model. Very quick paint job. Easy stuff. This one's only really four colours, I think. And then to uh, really bring out that reddish hue, we're going to give it a Reckland Flesh Shade wash with some water. And once that's dried, you'll have a um, nice reddish sort of brownish skin tone. And uh, I'll probably show all of these finished results at the end when they're completely dry because I forgot to add those to these bits of video. But uh, this video was a pain to edit. I've been editing this for two hours and it's Monday now, so... It's two, ed two hours of editing after the paint jobs, so... Okay, so we're on to the muted green colour. This was pretty much just another colour experiment for me, I was seeing what I could do with these greens and we're going to start with Warboss Green over a black primer. And this is the one instant where you're going to catch me not watering down my paint because I was just being lazy and it was the end of the day. Um, that's nowhere near thin enough, I couldn't have put it on any thicker if I tried. 
But yeah, I'd recommend putting it in two or three thin coats. I was just being really lazy at this point. Then we're going to highlight the War Boss Green using Lauren Forest uh, by Games Workshop. Like I said at the beginning, they're all Games Workshop paints. Guess that's just a habit for me to say what brand of paint it is from all the other tutorials. If you haven't seen the other tutorials, do check them out. Uh, we've got hundreds of them. As you can see, I'm just going over it with a tiny bit of watered down Lauren Forest, letting it dry, and then I'm going to go back over it again, and that's going to start bringing that colour up and bringing up that highlights. But like the title says, it's a very muted transition. Then we're going to use Strachan Green to highlight the highlights and leaving a little bit of the other colour in the recesses. As you can see that's starting to uh, really bring out that definition but we're not using bright colours, it just looks like um, like when light hits something black it doesn't add colour to it, it just um, fades it out. Um, same with some other material surfaces, you'll notice that um, the light doesn't make it brighter. Which is why we stayed away from stuff like milk green and wartstone green. Then we're going to use a Biotan green wash with a uh, water, it's probably about 50-50, since that seems to be the ratio here for doing the uh, skin throughout this video. I'm going to work that into the recesses and just make sure it doesn't pull up on your highlights, which uh, it shouldn't really do anyway because of the way the, the model is built, or the arm is shaped. Then we're going back to the Strachan Green again as a uh, final highlight for this one. And just uh, bringing up those highlights at the top of the shoulder, back of the forearm, um, on the uh, tricep, sorry, and the forearm and on the knuckles. Again, same with all the other videos, I'm going to make a little bit of footage at the end so you can see the end results of these a bit better. But uh, that's all there is to this one. It's a nice muted green. Um, you could always add some more washes if you wanted to. Next we're on to Goblin Green, which for some reason the image hasn't worked there. I don't know what's going on and I really can't fix it at this point. So what we're going to do is use Lauren Forest, which is uh, quite a uh, vibrant green. And... Um, give that two coats over a black prime. I'll probably do another set of these videos at some point and we use white prime and get different results. Also going to do leather and some other stuff as well there. Now we're going to use Elysian Green to highlight the Lauren Green because uh, we're going for a more cartoony goblin skin. So this is probably the brightest one colour wise out of the whole set. Um, I have to say it again like I have on all the other little bits, you just got to water down your paint, you're bringing that up from the recesses to the highlight areas and it's uh, really really watered down because I'm using a wet palette. Then we're going to highlight those um, yet now yellowish green bits with um, Ogryn Camo. So we've actually gone from green at this point to a yellow and um, as you can see that's starting to really look like a uh, fantasy style goblin green. I kind of like this tone, wouldn't work for my army, but uh, it's actually kind of fun to just muck about with these colours and see what results you get. After that we're going to use Caliban Green and this is really watered down to a wash consistency and it's got a little drop of Dragonoff Nightshade in there to add that blue hue and we're going to work that into the recesses and be kind of sparing with this, I've put quite a bit on but then I've brushed the rest into the uh, recesses and this is going to change those bright yellows we had just a little bit more green and um, give the uh, recesses a lot more depth and colour. Then we're just going to go and highlight that one final time with a Ogryn Camo and you need to be pretty sparing with this highlight. Again just in your hot spots and um, knuckles etc and on the shoulders and you've got this nice yellow green look which I kind of like because you've got the blue in the recesses which is a bit different and I'll be showing these at the end of the video. Right, the last one is the dark green. This is more of a traditional Games Workshop green sort of colour and we're just using Caliban green over the um, black primer. 
And we're going to do a couple of thin coats of that. There's not many colours to this one to be honest, it just blends really really well. And then we're going to use warg flesh to highlight the um, tops of the muscles. This is really really watered down because I'm using glazing techniques and a wet palette. But um, even if you don't have a wet palette you could probably dry brush this one on because the scheme's just so easy and the colours blend so well. It takes a couple of layers to start bringing that colour up to its um, original colour of warg flesh but leaving all the um, Caliban green in the recesses. Now we're going to use war boss green to um, highlight the Caliban green. No, the warg flesh, sorry. Reading the wrong bit of the um, book. Be really sparing with this and um, again the main focus is that top shoulder blade because that's where the light's mainly going to hit and the outside of the arm. But that's um, nice and simple. Same as any other of the techniques. Then we're going to use a bile tan green watered down. This is going to make these dark recesses really really dark because they've barely had any colour in them anyway. But it's also going to add a nicer uh, tone to the rest of the uh, highlights that we've done. Blend all those together. So even if you dry brush you can um, blend that in with a wash and it should look fine. Something to consider when you've got like 100 boys to slog through. Then we're going to use Warboss Green again. And that's basically it for that one. We just a very simple highlight, really easy steps, um, not too difficult. Again, just uh, from the recesses to the top, and uh, kind of like the result of this one, it's got a lot more depth, it's uh, really, really well pronounced, and uh, it's nice and easy. Right, so let's round off the video, and I will show you the results. So, here we are guys, I hope um, I get these in the right order. Uh, number one, not too bad, quick, quick job. Number two, earthy yellow flesh, which uh, I rather thought was good. End result for the um, Auric or Urukai arm, uh, arms, which um, I thought was pretty cool. The muted one really is pretty muted, there's not much in the way of colour for this one. The goblin greens, very similar to the yellow one, but uh, a bit more yellow, a bit more cartoony. Could always bring that back up again. And then the traditional sort of dark orky arm. And that's it for this very first instalment of the paint palette, guys. Um, that's. All we've really got time for in this video it was a pain in the arse to edit so uh, hit that like button hit subscribe share with your friends check out the rest of our channel and uh, there's a sneak peek at something coming up for the um, thousand subscribers i still got a bunch of work to do on him yet it's going to be a long video but uh thanks for watching guys and we'll uh, see you in the next one